potassium is a very important nutrient when we go to grain field. Corn, for instance, right when you go from vegetation into reproduction, the potassium uptake of that plant is humongous. Uh, soybeans, same way. Guys need to look at, take, pay really close attention to the potassium on a base saturation level. So what's your base saturation? Because there, there's a level there that you need to be at. Now they say the, the magical number is somewhere between six and 10%. If you can get to four, it's great. My base saturation here is high. I know a lot of guys out in the Midwest, they got extremely low base sat um, on potassium. So that potassium is very important in the grain quality and the grain integrity that these plants produce. It's just like with our own bodies, potassium is a very good source of vitamins and nutrients that we need to uptake in and the plants are the same way. Just extremely important, it tends to get overlooked at times. We feed potassium all throughout the year and we kind of spoon feed potassium because I can get it into the plant and I can drive it into the plant. You think of it like this, like I got money that I'm putting in the bank that I don't go in there and I don't try to touch, but I, it's, it's in there building a base, right? And then I got potassium or money in, in my pocket that I'm working off of. And there's two separate things and that's how I look at potassium. The potassium demand shows up more so when the dry weather, certain environmental conditions, and you'll see yellowing and you'll typically think it's nitrogen, but most of the time it's actually a potassium deficiency from dry weather. And you know you bought enough nutrients and put them out there and you've done a good job, but the problem is there's not enough moisture in the soil to make that nutrient available to the crop where the roots can metabolize it and bring it up into the plant. So we're seeing more and more what's called dry weather potassium deficiency. And that's a tough one to overcome unless you're irrigating. So I got my, my base out there and that's with my dry fertility. And I know that I'm continuously adding there. And how I utilize that is, is I look at the crop removal every year of how much potassium I take off. So let's say that I bale my straw or whatever. I know that I'm taking off more potassium. I know on those acres that I have to add back at least that to keep my base or my bank account at the same level so it keeps building for me. Then I go in and I feed my potassium all throughout the season. Potassium acetate, acetate portion is a driver. Just think of it like it drives it into that plant. So what it does in corn and soybeans is it adds weight. You know, everybody thinks that zinc and boron add weight and they do, don't get me wrong, they do. Um, but to, potassium is a big piece of this. Each time that we go across the field with any application, especially in the reproductive end on corn and soybeans both, we drag a lot of potassium into there. And we've been increasing our test weights, we've been increasing seed size every year. And we're continuously getting better with doing that. So that's how I use potassium and the potassium acetate. I look at it as a two-piece program. There's one from the bottom and one from the top, and we're gonna meet in the middle, and that's how we use potassium.